Canberra Engineering College, Mechanical Engineering Department. I welcome you all. So today we will discuss on the subject mechatronics. The internal assessment marks for mechatronics is 30. The assignment marks will be 10 and the end semester exam marks will be 60. Altogether making it 100. So today we will discuss on module 1. And what are the contents inside module 1? We have the definition of mechatronics and then the multidisciplinary scenario, the evolution of mechatronics, design of mechatronics system and its objectives, advantages and disadvantages of mechatronics. And in the second part, we have regarding transducers and sensors. So this entire thing consists of module 1. It takes total 10 hours. Now let's go with the overview. What is mechatronics? Mechatronics is the integration of electronic, electrical, computer technology and control engineering with mechanical engineering. So when all other branches of the engineering when it is integrated with mechanical engineering, then we call it as a mechatronic. This field, it provides wide range of applications, both in industry as well as in household appliances. So mechatronic systems are found in household appliances and also at industries. And this term mechatronics was coined by Japanese to show or the highlight the integrated approach. Now let's go with the evolution of mechatronics. So mechatronics evolved in four stages. They are first one, the primary level mechatronics. So in primary level mechatronics, the input output devices such as sensors were used for activating valves. So when we use sensors just to activate some valves, that initial use of these sensors become the primary level mechatronics. In secondary level mechatronics, electronics were integrated with electrically controlled devices such as cassette players. In third level mechatronics, smart systems that is application specified integrated circuits like the CNC machines that we use or the automatic washing machine that is being used comes under the third level of mechatronics. In third level of mechatronics, things are getting more and more automated. And in the fourth level of mechatronics, it incorporates intelligent control and FDI, which means fault detection and isolation. So it uses the concept of fuzzy logic. So here in the fourth level of mechatronics, even detection of fault is being incorporated. This is the evolution of mechatronics. Now, let us go with certain definitions. First of all, what is the meaning of a system? So system, we can think as a unit which has an input and output devices and is prepared to per perform a certain def desired function. So if there is an input and there is an output, and this input and output combines to form a particular function, then we call it as a system. For example, let us think of a motor. It can be thought of a system with electrical input and rotation of the shaft as the output. So a motor can be told as a system where input is electric input and output is the rotation of the shaft. So that is been depicted here. So you have a motor, you give an output, input, and it comprises of a system. Then what is the meaning of a control system? Control means to regulate, to manipulate, or to adjust. For example, the body temperature of the human being, it's a good example for a control system. 
So this can be thought of as a black box which is used to control the output of a particular value or a sequence of values. So here you have an example for that. So input is given and output is there and regulator we have. Now what is the function of this regulator is to control the speed. Now what are the elements of a control system? So in a control system the most important element is called as a feedback. So feedback system which consists or a control system which consists of two types. First one is called as an open loop system and second one is called as a closed loop system. So what is an open loop system? In an open loop system, the output is depending on the input, but the input or the controlling action is independent of the output. So what are the advantages of an open loop system? It is very simple. It is low in cost. It is easy to understand and maintain. And stability and reliability is relatively good in case of an open loop system. The disadvantage is that it is inaccurate. It is very slow in response and it is not optimized in control. So we can have an example here. So you have an input switch that is on and off, then output that is speed change. Then electric power is the process. So now the switch is there, the electric power is given and the motor is there, you get the output speed and change. So this is an open loop system. So that is what is depicted over here. Now, what is a closed loop system? In a closed loop system, the output is dependent on input and also the output decides the further input. So let us quickly go through an example. So here you have an input on off switch, an electric power and output has a constant temperature. So my output here is a constant temperature. So I need to maintain a constant temperature. So how do I maintain that by using a feedback signal? So you have a switch and now there is a heater. The function of the heater is to heat the room and the function of this control system is to fix the temperature of the room. So the process is going to happen this way. And the constant temperature is maintained by using a feedback signal. So who is going to maintain that feedback signal? It is the measuring device. So the feedback system over here is a measuring device. So the measuring device will tell you what is the temperature of the room. And that measuring device will give the input to the comparison element. And the comparison element will compare the input value and the measured value. And the difference value is given in the form of a signal to the switch. That is how a closed loop system works. The closed loop system, they are relatively accurate due to the feedback control. But the problem with the closed loop system is because there is a feedback and the loop is closed, it is complex. And obviously because of that, it is costly.